my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus today's parable is intended to give us a picture of ourselves. And what it says about us is this. Many of us are not wearing the right clothes. We bear the name of Christian. We belong to the Christian family. We even support to Christian organizations and ministries. But still, we do not wear the right clothes. And so Jesus solemnly warns us that the believer must wear the appropriate clothes at the wedding feast. He must wear a wedding garment. Without that garment, there can be no guarantee of salvation. The poor man in the story was speechless when the father of the groom confronted him. This man thought the rules didn't apply to him. In fact, he assumed that there weren't any rules. He thought it was perfectly unright for him to do his own thing. He had no idea that what he did even mattered to the father of the groom. So when he was confronted, he was totally speechless. Why? The wedding garment had been provided for him at the door, and he is without excuse for not wearing it. Therefore, Christianity is not only a belief, it is also a lifestyle. A lifestyle of personal discipline and dignity. A lifestyle of time-honored values. A lifestyle that includes relationships with our neighbors, with the world in which we live, and with our God. We need to be serious with our Christian style. What we do without due care and attention in our spiritual life, we will face severe consequences on the last day. Many Christians have a concept of God that if we miss a deadline, God will simply extend it. They do not take the judgment of God seriously. I think God forgives is their attitude. Salvation is not cheap. Christ gave himself for the expiation of our sins. We are invited to the banquet of salvation as worthy, fully treasured. Yet our sins, our disobe disobedient lifestyle are a serious business. They make us unfit, unprepared in the feast of salvation. And so this parable asks us to examine our lives, to see if we are properly dressed for the heavenly feast. As Christians, we have responded to God's invitation. Through baptism, we have entered into His church, into His banquet. But the important thing that God wants to see is whether on the judgment day, we will still be wearing the properly spiritual garment. Do you have on the right garments such as a pure heart, garments such as a generous spirit, garments such as a life of obedience? Are you ready for the wedding feast of God? St. Paul teaches the Romans and us, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the desires of the flesh. If Jesus is in your heart, your life will be clothed in proper clothing of faith, hope, love, forgiveness, tolerance, 
and on the virtues of the Christian life. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. You pursue seriously your salvation in thought, attitude, speech, and action. You will not be speechless on the last day, for you will be properly dressed.